Welcome to Features in 5, our series of 5-minute lessons about enhancements to Penny, our investment partnership accounting software. In this lesson, we'll show you our new holiday calendar functionality that helps you better manage transactions by taking into account holiday schedules. In the next 5 minutes, you'll learn how holidays are created in Penny. You'll also see how a holiday calendar can be associated with a particular fund and you'll learn how holidays are used in conjunction with period estimate processing. First up, let's show you how holidays are created in Penny. One way is to import them. A new utility, the Holiday Calendars Import, enables holiday dates to be uploaded using either an Excel spreadsheet or a comma-separated value file format. If a calendar of holidays is imported, Penny treats all the weekends as holidays by default. This can be changed. I'll show you how in a bit. If holidays are imported into an existing calendar in Penny, the holidays that are already in Penny are maintained. The other way to create holidays in Penny is manually. The new Holiday Calendar screen is used to enter holidays and also manage holidays that have been imported. A calendar name, holidays, and their descriptions can be saved. And here is where weekends for the calendar can be set as non-holidays. Now let's talk about holidays in relation to funds. Once a holiday calendar is created, it can be associated with a particular fund. This helps in processing estimates for the fund. A new field on the Fund Setup screen lets a holiday calendar be specified. And for all the funds that aren't associated with a holiday calendar, a default calendar can be set on the Environment Settings screen. Last, let's take a look at how holidays relate to the processing of estimates in Penny. Let's say we have a fund that has a calendar with a holiday on July 4th and also treats weekends as holidays. We want to run an estimate for July 1st through July 3rd. Our estimate end date is July 3rd, but according to the fund's calendar, the three days that follow July 3rd are holidays. So, the estimate is extended through those holidays since they immediately follow the estimate end date. Therefore, to calculate our estimated fees for July 1st through July 3rd, Penny actually calculates the fees for July 1st through July 6th to include those holidays in its day count. On the bookkeeping side of things, a temporary journal entry for the estimated income is created and then deleted during estimate processing. Note that estimates in Penny are not extended beyond month ends. And of course we didn't forget about reporting. You can find holiday information relating to estimates on a handful of Penny reports. There is the new Holiday Calendar Report that displays holiday information used in conjunction with the Period Estimate functionality, and the existing Estimate Report, which now displays any effect from the holiday extension. Additionally, the Single Period Browse screen has a new Extended field to depict effects from holiday extensions. So now you know all about our Holiday Calendar functionality in Penny. You know how holidays can be imported as well as manually entered. You also know how a holiday calendar can be associated with a fund and set as a default for other funds in Penny. And you understand how holidays are used in period estimate processing and you know the reports that have related information. If you'd like more information, please contact your Client Relationship Manager. You can also visit the Penny Help File that has a wealth of great information on how to use Penny and its features. You can access the help at any time by pressing F1 on your keyboard or selecting Help from the window menu. Until next time, thanks for watching our Features in 5.